Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how quick and easy it is to set up a WordPress website. So we're gonna be going through and getting hosting and then setting up our WordPress website so that we have basically the, the beginning stages of creating our professional business website. This video is actually taken from a portion of a video that I am publishing about how to create a professional business website. It's about a 37 minute video. So if you want that full video, then you could just watch that video. I'll put it in the video description here. But otherwise, if you're looking, hey, I just need to set up hosting in WordPress, then this video will be all you need. So let's get into it. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to set up a WordPress website using VPS hosting. So this may look different depending on the host that you choose. In this specific video, I'm gonna be using Hostinger. Now there are a lot of different hosts out there. There are tons of hosts to choose from and there are generally about five to 10 that are the most popular. The Hostinger, Bluehost, Hostgator, a lot of these are generally some of the most popular hosts that you're gonna see when you look at all of the best of web hosting lists. Now there are probably plenty of opinions on what the best host is and I am not gonna sit here and dig my feet in the sand and say this is the best host of all time. Basically what I know is hosting WordPress websites. So when you're hosting WordPress websites, there are a few different options. One of those options is VPS hosting, and generally you're gonna get better performance using VPS hosting compared to using WordPress managed hosting or using what's called the web hosting or otherwise referred to as shared web hosting. So a lot of times what you want is a cloud hosting or a VPS hosting plan because they're generally gonna give you more resources and better performance. That's what I'm gonna be going over in this video. If you go to surfsideppc.com slash hostinger, you will get the best price at Hostinger, no matter the hosting plan that you choose. So if you go there, you may see this page on the VPS hosting. The homepage may look like this, so you're able to get up to 80% off. So surfsideppc.com slash Hostinger. I do use Hostinger. I'm actually setting up the VPS hosting. This is gonna be for hosting my Surfside PPC website. So I'm actually moving to Hostinger where I've already moved a bunch of client websites. And basically, the reason that I recommend Hostinger is the pricing is the best that I've seen and the performance is the best that I've seen for the price. So basically it's a, a less expensive host and the performance has been really good. So there's no reason that you need to pay 30, 40, 50, $60 a month to other companies for WordPress managed hosting. It makes absolutely no sense to do that. Even if you choose a WordPress plan from Hostinger, they're much less expensive. I would still recommend the cloud startup plan, but if you just choose a business WordPress hosting plan, $3 and 49 cents a month for 48 months plus three months free. So you could see how cheap this is 75% off for a four year term. So you could basically host your website for, for nothing for four years. I'm gonna be using VPS hosting. The pricing is higher, but not that much higher for, you know, for hosting my business website. So $19.99 a month for a 24 month term is very, is very inexpensive for hosting. And it's, we're gonna get really good performance on this plan. So we're gonna choose this plan here. Okay, and then you're gonna see we're at our cart. So they should automatically apply the discount here. So I have a 67% discount and I'm doing a 24 month term. So for 24 months, it's 479. For 12 months, it's 24.99 a month. At $299, still pretty cheap. And one month is 35.99 a month. Generally, you're much better off choosing a 12 month or 24 month plan. If you wanna test, use it for a month and then you could always upgrade later. But a lot of times it might be harder to get this introductory price. One thing I always tell, whenever I'm doing a video like this, you'll always see this renews at more than double the price. So $47.99 a month it renews at. If you get to the point of renewal and you're starting to get the emails of like, your plan is getting ready to renew, basically what you want to do is you want to contact the host and you wanna say, I'm planning on moving my website away unless I can get the introductory renewal price and they'll basically just give it to you right then and there. Just basically start a chat with them and you'll get that introductory price easily. So we are going to set this up now and click on continue. Okay, and next what they're gonna do is ask for your information and then your card. So I'm gonna do this and fast forward through this process so we don't show any of this in the video. Okay, my payment is done, let's go. Set up your services right away to start using them and we will get started. Okay, now we get to the next page and you're gonna see your to-dos, your KVM8 setup isn't finished yet. So let's set up our service so we can start using this. Okay, hello, we'll follow the guided setup, click on start now. Location for our new VPS, so Boston is closest to me, and you could use either or Boston or Phoenix. So if you're located in the United States, if you're located outside of the United States, then choose whichever is the closest location for your new VPS. So we'll click on continue. 
OS template for your server. So this is really going to depend. If you're comfortable with something, this is where you can choose something for one of the templates that you prefer. So there's a few different options here. And then you have OS with panel. So you have with a C panel and then application, you could actually use WordPress and actually just install the application. Okay. I was playing around with my operating system a little bit and installing a couple different ones just to see how they were. But if you do install another one and you didn't install WordPress the first time, what you can do is just go back to your hosting or account go into your OS and panel and you'll see operating system here and you can easily overwrite any installation you have. Just keep in mind if you do configure your server and then you overwrite the, the, the existing operating system of your server, it is gonna clear out everything. So you need to make sure that you're using the actual application or operating system that you're interested in. So we're gonna choose WordPress here and then you're gonna see it's built on Ubuntu, popular obviously, popular open source content management system and now we're gonna change our operating system. Be sure to make backups of important data before changing VPS operating system. Very important. Upon changing, keep in mind all of our files and configurations will be lost. I recognize they will be lost and we're going to click on next. Okay, we're going to create our password. Okay, and you'll see up here, changes are in progress. Recreate VPS action is currently being processed. You won't be able to manage your VPS while we are making changes. It can take up to 10 minutes. This was the one that I installed previously. So it was CyberPanel built on AMA Linux 9. So it's very similar to cPanel and it's just another option that you have. I installed it when I went into it, it gave me a server error. So I figured why not just, we'll just use WordPress. That's obviously what we wanna use. So we're gonna be using this and we will launch our WordPress website. So you can see how easy this is with a VPS host. We'll get much better performance and we'll also have our WordPress website. Okay, and after a short period of time, you're gonna see our current application. So WordPress here, we can click on manage app. We have our username. We click on manage app, it's going to open up the login page. So you have to remember the password that you set earlier. So we're going to copy our username, come in here, paste that, and then do our password that we did earlier. So hopefully I remember this. And now we have a WordPress website that is VPS hosted. So if we open up visit website, you can see here we have our website. So obviously it is on a temporary domain. So you want to make sure you map a domain to it. So let's come back over here to our main menu and we're going to look Basically, I have two different hosting or plans. So if you come over here to websites and websites list, I do have a business web hosting plan. So you'll see how easy this is. You click on WordPress admin. This is a WordPress hosting plan. So it's much easier to add a website when you are creating WordPress hosting plans like this. You just create a new WordPress website. You can use the hosting or website builder or create an empty PHP or HTML website. Okay, now that we are in our VPS server, so from the main menu, we went to VPS. That brings us directly to this place with our server details, click on manage and that will bring us to this overview. So we have a VPS information. This is my IP address, host name, status, VPS uptime. Application access will bring you directly to the WordPress website we just created. So the other thing you can do is access your panel. So this is essentially like your C panel. So in here, we go to the login URL. You'll have to set your password. So if we click on this, it might open in a new, I already logged in, so you'll just have to log in with your username and your password here. So once you get in here, you'll see our domain. This is the WordPress website we just created. So this is the website we were just at here. So if we come over here and you say, I wanna add more websites to my VPS plan, and I wanna add another WordPress website to it, all you need to do is click on add site, and you'll see create a WordPress website, and it's that simple, go through this process. You can create other types of websites as well. You can create other types of applications using your VPS server. So there's pretty much anything that you want to do. Very, very simple cloud panel or operating system, Ubuntu. You can see our size is pretty good, memory usage. So we'll be able to see how much we're using here. But essentially to kind of go through the process really quickly, what we did is we signed up for a Hostinger VPS plan. And then once we signed up for our Hostinger VPS plan, we went to our operating system. You have all of these different options here. You can always overwrite this too. And what we did is we selected application and chose WordPress, which is automatically gonna be built on Ubuntu 20, whatever version it's on. This one is 24.04. There, there may be an update by the time you do this. Then we install this. And once you install and get into it, then all you have to do is it will install your WordPress website for you automatically. And you have a WordPress website here. And now we know this is on a very good server. So this is the point of using a VPS server. So if you have any questions about any of this, please leave them in the comments section. But I wanted to go over basically how to set up, get started with a WordPress website so I can use this video because it's going to be helpful for other people that are interested in building a brand new WordPress website on a little bit better of a hosting plan. So thank you for watching this video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.